Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arby's Cafe and Sherry is my guest again today. Hi, Hi Sherry. Hi, Cynthia. So something we're talking about some special beads, right? Right. It's anything that is top drill. There's a lot of shapes like that and sometimes it's hard to decide how do I use that bead. So we have right. tons of examples to show you today and I'm pretty excited to show you those. So Sherry, do you want to start? Okay. Um, up here we have the um, Super Uno mm -hmm. and that is this little bead that is the fringe on these pieces and so it has um, been threaded just through the one side yes. and then dangles as a fabulous fringe <laughs> or detail. <laughs> they, are, they are great for fringe actually. They are. I love oh, they're the perfect. Super Uno. They're perfect. Not too long, not too short. They yes. show up. Um, and they come in such beautiful colors. They so, do. Um, I yes. love that. And then they were used in this necklace too, um, mm. along with a lot of other beads, but they um, just add, I think, texture. Right. You know, they just stick out a little more than mm -hmm. some of the other beads, and so they add some layers of texture, which I, I like. So I think mixing them in with other beads is fun to yes, do. Yes, yes. We love Super Uno, yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, these are the little pip beads, mm -hmm. and they've got the little hole running. They're almost like a little, um, like a little paddle, right? right? And so on, on this piece, yes. they just move and, and wiggle. Um, they were just added right to the wire. Right. And in these, they were um, added to the thread and then circled around to form the yes. cute flower that Very you cute. did. Same oh, with thanks. these. Yeah, they were really Super fun to cute. make, that's for sure. And then I, I wanted to try also in uh, herringbone, how does that mm, look? And I thought that was that. pretty fun too. I love the way they stack up. Yes. And the contrast between the silver and black is so pretty. Oh, and, yes, and thank you. Adds dimension. I love this one. That's really fun. Dragon scales. Um, so just all stacked together makes this nice, chunky right. cluster and definite contrast to what the, mm -hmm. um, the round seed beads And they're so um, small. Do. Look at that. Tiny little, little guys. They've got a little point to them. Right. And that yeah. was Kumihimo, right? That one is Kumihimo. Okay. Yeah. And um, so that's really fun to do. It looks yeah. like it. Yes. That's really fun. And you have your beautiful Swarovski. And so, okay, so yeah, yeah, these are um, the uh, Swarovski crystals that are, um, they're a bicone that has the hole on the top right. instead of through it like a bead. Right. And so these were just threaded onto um, the thread as the piece was being netted so that they form the dangle. So I love really that. easy to use, beautiful for a drop. Mm -hmm. And here I use also some uh, beautiful Swarovski mm -hmm. and um, the, the holes are on the top. And they work great as little pendant like that. I love using them. I love using with this chain too because there are so many ho um, loops and you can right. <laughs> hook them everywhere. Yeah. Right. And the overall look is just so pretty. It's yes. just so clustery and you see that contrast of the sparkle with the metal. Yeah. I think it's yes. beautiful. So here is a bigger size. And what I like is doing a messy loop like that, a, mm -hmm. a wrap loop. And um, I did a, a, a handy tip how to do this so you can check on our learning center. But they are so much fun to work with and you just do a messy wrap. It's, okay, it's pretty right. easy. The and loop and yes. And um, you can even do that with a gemstone. Love that. I really love that too. I thought that was really fun. Or you can make like this very small, small necklace like that. But it's, it's, it's another way to do look. a look. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Super not organic. That, and not that precision wrap. Yes. Just beautiful <laughs> organic. I, I know. Sometimes you try to make it perfect, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, you don't have to worry yeah. if it's not perfect. No, it, well, that's the look. It's, exactly. It's, it's, it's yes. Nice. And then uh, beads are pretty popular also. They are the uh, Magatamas. And those beads here, uh, we made that with uh, Le Leslie Ragalski. And I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Leslie, if I didn't pronounce your name well. And I love making those little beads. And I just put on a um, pieces of a leather necklace. Beautiful. So it's kind of like Aren't a choker. That's really pretty. Yeah. And this is one of our most popular um, piece. Um, it's a kumihimo with the magatama. Mm. And I did it in two different colors. And the trick is that is to make sure that all the beads, when you string them, they are all facing the same way. OK. And then it's just doing a, a kumihimo. They're really fun. Beautiful. And then we have here the fringe 
beads. Look at how small okay. they are. They're like a, a teeny, teeny drop, right? Mm -hmm. They're really cute. And I thought, okay, if I do a tubular herringbone, how do they look like? Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> In it's contrast really fun. to the seed bead. Yes. Yeah, that's beautiful. That was really fun. I don't know. And um, here again, um, I wanted to try some um, herringbone, tubular herringbone. I love mm -hmm. trying herring, tubular herringbone with any type of bead. And I use here the rizzo bead. Love and that. here too, those are rizzo bead. <coughs> and those are rizzo bead, but with the kumihimo. Okay. This is so fast and easy to do because you don't have to think the way how um, they fit together. You just string just them. String them and go? Yes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it doesn't look that way, does it? It looks complicated. I, I but, um, good to know it's not. It's not. And what is great is they all, in one pack, they all came with those different colors. Oh, that's beautiful. So you think that you're using, you know, different beads, but no, it all came from the same uh, package. And here, another way to use the Rizzo is as a fringe like that. And that is really Ooh, fun too. So a little longer than the uh, Super Uno. Yes. That yes. Same Look. That's really pretty too. Yeah. And you use some here too. On yeah, just your, a that's little fun. Drop, little accent. Yeah. And what are these here? I love those. Those beads. are the petal beads. It's petal beads. Yeah. So they have the whole um, at the top also, and right. then they have that broad shape of a petal. Um, so I made them into flowers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they can it's be really cute. arranged in a lot of different ways. Uh, uh, but those are sewn on onto the peyote stitch. It's really cute. And here, so we do have some Swarovski, and we wanted to show you different ways how to um, attach those pendants instead of just doing a jump ring. Right. You kind of did a wire work here, right? Right, so that was a, a wrapped loop um, through the uh, hole of the bead, and then make the loop, and then come right. down and do the wrap. Okay. And then the one in the middle does have the jump right. ring going through. You just have to make sure that your jump ring um, diameter is big enough to go through the thickness Fine. of the hole opening. Yes, yes. And then uh, the top one's just slid on the wire. So that Which one's is, super easy. Yeah. Uh, so three top top drilled mm -hmm. um, pendant style beads, um, yes. each one handled a little differently. Yeah, that's yeah. really cute too. And, and here we have some other um, top drill beads. And um, I put it by three, and then you kind of tie them together and they kind of lock to oh, each other. That. And I think it's it's really fun. It's a fun, uh, fun way to put bits together right. and here I mix them with daggers so mm -hmm. we love daggers love right? the dagger <laughs> <laughs> we tend love to use daggers a lot too well so showy I mean just the the look of the bead space between those daggers is just a that's perfect, true. Um, perfect necklace that's true and here I, I had another way of using daggers I use with the embroidery um, I Beautiful. wanted to there is a bird in the middle so it's kind of a, a bird feather on the that. side and you can use daggers on, um, you know, bracelet like that. This is uh, one of our kits, actually. And then here, look at this mm. necklace, Isn't too. I love pretty. this one. And those daggers are pretty special. They are um, laser edge, and they have designs on them. Oh, they are just beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yes. I, I, yes. Daggers, it's something you can use... Um, very easily and, and even make earrings mm -hmm. out of them. And we love to take a, a chain and put tons of daggers oh, on, on the chain. I think it. Be <laughs> okay, that is my next project. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sherry, for coming. Thank you. And uh, remember that all those ideas are on our learning center. Um, that you, so you can check them and see how we made those. And um, we love showing you how to use those more intricate beads and um, yeah. This is fun. Yeah, so fun. thank you so much again, thank Sherry. You. Thank, thank you. you for joining us today at Arbis Cafe. And make sure to subscribe to our newsletter to get all the great promotion and the new ideas that we have all the time. Mm -hmm. So merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye-bye. <laughs>